Okay, just arrived at your destination, ready to unhook the camper. Look, this is the lock that keeps the trailer on the ball joint on your hitch. So first step is to take out the pin, keep it in a safe place. Now we're empty. And then unhook the lock. Next you want to take off your hooks with your chains. Now you want to get the camper off the hitch. So we're going to use this jack here and we're going to push the camper up, drive the car out. Before we do that though, before we prop the camper up with the, uh, the tongue jack, I just showed you that, we've got to put some blocks in. You might want to put some behind and in front depending on the ground, but this ground's sloping down, so I'm going to put some blocks behind the wheels to stop it rolling away when I push it up. So now I've unhooked the trailer from the ball joint. I've taken off my chains and I'll put blocks under the wheels. Now I'm ready to start propping this baby up. And I'll just turn that around and around and around and around. Now I've been turning, 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 and look, down under my tongue jack, as I'm propping up the trailer to get it off the car, I've put this, uh, this rock. It's come all the way from Moosehead Lake in Maine, and that's gonna just give me a sturdy base to prop this trailer up on. You check to make sure your car was in park, right? Oh, and that the brake was on. I didn't. Don't want that rolling on top of you. Oh, she's a rocky ride, but look. Look clear. Look at that, drove the car away, she's unhooked. Now, next job is to uh, level out the trailer itself and put these uh, the jacks up at the back and the feet at the front. I want to deal with the feet at the front first. On each side, it has these little feet. If I try and pull them out, I'm pushing them pushing to the back. Use the tongue jack to lift the front up so I can take the car away. It's not connected anymore. Now I need to stabilize the trailer. I'm going to do that by, by popping out the two front feet. They're on the left and right near the front. Let me show you underneath here. Look. Here's one of the feet. And I'm going to position this for you to see. I'm gonna grab it with both hands. Shake it. Oh, she's a tight one. You're probably stronger than me. Push back or across away from you. And look. Now the foot's down and I'm using these steel plates to keep it nice and steady. You can adjust these by pushing here and extending it, but I don't need to do that yet. The reason I didn't extend those feet all the way yet is because I want to make sure the camp is level, going this way. It's not. It's taking a bit of a nosedive, so I'm going to pop the front of it up by using this tongue jack again. Then I'll uh, be able to extend those feet to be in the proper position. So here we go, a couple of uh, turns on this and then we'll see how it's looking in terms of levelness. Okay, I like how it's looking now, and uh, in an ideal world, I'd probably use a tool, like a level, to make sure it was in fact level, but uh, I'm eyeballing it. The reason it's so important to get the level just right, and again, tool's helpful, is because if you don't, if it's coming down at the front or pushing to one side, the doors will not open, the door won't open the right way. So look, I'm good. I just had so much experience, I know how to do it with that level, right? Anyway, I'm just pushing down on here to extend this foot out. I'll do the same on the other side. Then I can use the tongue jack to lower it, take the stress, stress off the tongue jack and put the weight onto these feet. So the weight is well and truly down now on these front two feet on the sides. And you can see that because look, the tongue jack pole is, is floating. Okay, look at the front, so stable. But here, if you pan to the back, we've got nothing supporting the back and um, we don't want it tipping back when it's time for bed. So we'll get these, these are actually jacks. We're gonna get this jack on the left and the right down onto that plate. Let me position the plate. And now um, here's the tool that I'm gonna use. These notches slide onto the uh, to the adjustable part of the jack. And that little kind of bit just threads right into my drill. I'm gonna lower the power. I don't wanna break my wrist. Don't need it too strong. Here. Okay, here we go. So like I said, these just, um, see that how it slots in? Like that. Spin the 
power up a little bit, shall we? I do actually want to get this back. Yeah. Just a little to allow it to support its weight. Yeah, just a little bit. I don't want to prop the camper up too much by overdoing it. But uh, she's now stable and level. Now I'm going to work on popping out the ends and uh, popping it up. 